All right, so I have an order that got delivered here from uh, Horizon Hobbies for one of my favorite planes of all time. Now, the reason I say that is this is the second plane I purchased when I got back into the hobby uh, after about a 20 year hiatus. Uh, great little plane. I've crashed it more times than I can even remotely count, and it just keeps rolling and has more features than planes three times its size. Let's get into the box, see what it is. All right, so here we have it, the uh, UMX Timber. Uh, this has been just a fantastic plane. Um, it's rare to find something that's this good. We use this actually as a benchmark in a lot of our reviews because of its price point, quality, and capabilities. At $129, uh, average retail cost, now we can get this uh, for, for $129 off of Horizon's website with free shipping. Most local hobby stores, which is where I uh, picked up my first version of this plane, uh, will sell it about that same price point as well. But for $129, you get a plane that is absolutely rugged, easy to fly, and yet at the same time has ridiculous capabilities within its flight envelope. So, you know, for me getting back into the hobby, one of the really nice things about this plane was safe. Now I know a lot of people instantly cringe when I say safe, but when you're going out on your own and you're trying to get back into the hobby, um, it's one of those things that honestly is a little bit of a luxury. Now, my plane has seen better days. However, it still flies wonderfully. Um, get these little tabs here for the uh, shipping tape. There we go. And we'll pull this thing out. This plane is brand spanking new, and I got it actually for my wife. Uh, so it hasn't been through a lot of my hard learning. <laughs> and there's a lot I've learned about this plane that'll help this one last actually a little longer and be a little more, uh, I guess, predictable than mine. Um, so here we have it, there's our little plane. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep unboxing here. We've got, uh, oh, it's a little kit for uh, floats. So this little guy will actually do floats as well. Now, in addition, it also comes with leading edge slats. Uh, this is something that's optional for the plane. You can choose to put it on or not. Uh, I haven't on my plane. I probably will on, on this plane for my wife. Really what this does is this allows for slower takeoffs and slower landings, a little bit more stability at slow speeds. And uh, I think it's a fantastic little option that they've included just as part of the plane. Now, a trick with a lot of these UMX planes is uh, well, finding where the, uh, the manual was. And normally it's right here. This particular unit did not come with a manual. That's a little bit of a bummer. Now these are bind and fly planes. So we have a radio that's built in, uh, a receiver, as well as all of our speed controller components all nestled under this little magnetically attached cowl. We even have linear servos on that circuit board as well. Our power plant is a 3000 kV motor. Teeny little guy, but more than enough power for this plane to do honestly a lot of fun acrobatic stunts. On top of that, the plane has lighting throughout which honestly for me, I really, really enjoy. Not only the realism, but when we start getting into low light conditions, uh, you know, we take this into our local park, we wanna you know, play in the, in, in the dusk hours. Oh, the plane looks just fantastic. It's easy to orient. It is really a, just a, a wonderful feature. Um, on top of that, the plane has big, giant, Beautiful flaps. Uh, these flaps extend down and allow the plane to really slow down for, you know, takeoffs, landings, flight in general. Just kind of having fun tooling around. Uh, this thing will just 
coast just glide through the air with those flaps down. It's pretty amazing. Now, like I said, this is, uh, this is my wife's plane. I haven't uh, had an opportunity to destroy it yet. My plane, however, has been through <laughs> quite a bit. Um, you know, there's a laundry list of things with this plane that I've, I've done. Uh, so I've broken the wing in half on two different occasions. Uh, just nose down, the momentum of the wing carries through, and we snap our wing in half, uh, usually trailing off one of these narrower sections where our flaps uh, are, are cut into the, uh, the wing. Um, I completely destroyed the fuselage um, one time. Uh, it was really bad. Uh, in fact, this poor thing got put together multiple times. There's more super glue uh, CA um, than there is honestly foam in some places. But that's the beautiful thing about this plane is it is so rugged we can keep repairing it over and over and over. And honestly, the repairs for this model are really quite inexpensive, usually about $20 for a major component like a fuselage in our wing, $10 for a tail section. Props are about three bucks each, nose cows about five bucks. And I have, I have beat this plane to pieces, learning to fly again, building that confidence back up. I even had a, an incident where I was flying in low light conditions and I ran right into our frequency marker, uh, our pegboard, frequency pegboard uh, out on our airfield and impaled the poor plane in the hooks. <laughs> and it just keeps going. Now, the one thing I will say is, I haven't had to replace any of the lighting on this plane, and I have not had to replace the main circuit board. Uh, the, the, the board that has the receiver, all the servo control, and even the lighting control built into it for this plane. Um, that's been a very fortunate thing because, again, this has been in two separate fuselages, and it's a little bit of work, a little persnickety work to, to move that board over. Unlike the Cirrus that I have, now the UMX planes, again, their Achilles heel is those little teeny all-in-wonder boards that do everything. Uh, if that board gets taken out, it's worth buying another plane in almost all cases. Uh, just because if you've already damaged a couple of the components, say I've broken a wing in a hard crash, fuselage, you know, $70 plus shipping, they don't ship those free, plus another $20 component, well the plane's 129 bucks, we may as well pick up a, another plane and have it in mint condition. Unless you're one of those people like Tate who gets really attached to that airframe. But uh, you know, I don't mind swapping parts out. I don't mind reapplying some stickers. I don't mind, uh, uh, you know, keeping the plane in good operating condition. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take and, uh, and uh, bind up this new plane. Don't tell my wife. And uh, <laughs> so I'm just running a little, uh, uh, what have we got here? It looks like we've got a 7.4, 300 milliamp, three or 35C battery here. Uh, just a little two cell, cute little batteries. I prefer a slightly larger runtime on my battery. Uh, you know, you can take and, and run this certainly with a, a slower or a smaller battery, should I say. But uh, there we go, we've got our, our radio over here ready to bind up. Oh, and that lighting, as soon as that lighting kicks on, my gosh, what that, what that does to this plane, just brings it to life. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna take and bind up here. And uh, these little UMX planes, they can be a little sensitive, so we keep our radio as far as we can. There we go. All right. Now I'm using my timber profile. Yeah, probably need to fix that. Probably need to make sure my throttle cuts on too. Good. All right. Uh, I'm using my profile for this plane. Just super easy to be able to jump between these different models. Not a big deal. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and just do a thrust check with this. Just because we always do that, that's fun. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this little plane already wants to jump up into the sky. Now again, 
great features on this plane. Um, you know, beautiful ailerons. Again, driven by those linear servos. They tend to be a little more noisy than regular servos, but they're teeny and lightweight. Uh, there's our rudder, including our steering wheel in the rear. Got our elevators and our flaps, which beautifully retract. And we've got them set to cycle nice and slow. Just fantastic. And again, the lighting on this plane is just great. Belly marker, we've got a top marker. Of course, our wings and the headlights just make this plane. So, obviously I'm in love with this plane. Uh, you know, as you uh, progress as a pilot, you can take disable the safe mode, use the S3X uh, for stabilization, and then you can even disable that. Beautiful plane, just to kind of cut your teeth with. Either getting into the hobby, jumping back into it, like me. Um, honestly, uh, I don't know that I would say this would make a bad plane for a trainer. You know, I, I still think there's a place for planes like uh, The Apprentice. Uh, I think there's a, a place for a lot of the more traditional, uh, you know, top wing style um, trainers, but a lot of people will jump into the larger scale timber that's a bit of a, a bigger price point. Being able to jump into this little guy and do just about anything you could want is just a fantastic way of doing this. Now, again, this little plane has a neat feature. So we can actually put floats on this plane. That's right, uh, full floats. Now, this kit is $19.99, so $20. Um, and it basically includes Two floats, all right, look at that. Beautiful aluminum floats, well, aluminum looking floats. Silver paint, but, uh, and all of our mounting equipment. And the thing that's nice about this plane is literally we can just squeeze and pull out our landing gear and insert this once it's been assembled into our pre-existing mounts. So the plane really has the intention of having that as an option right from the get-go. Well, it looks like I didn't quite center that. Can't have everyone uh, complaining to me in the comments. I did it wrong. <laughs> I think I'm still off. We'll fix that here in a bit. Anyways, beautiful plane. It's one of those that's been around for a while. It's been reviewed quite a bit, but my two cents on this plane is, this is a plane everybody should have. The UMX line uh, from E-Flight is legendary. It's a great, great line of planes. But if there is a crowning jewel in this whole series, it is the UMX Timber. So that's my, uh, my two cents here on this wonderful little plane. Uh, thanks for uh, tuning in today and keep flying. So, so as you can see, there's a fair degree of commitment that we at Angry Zeppelin have for you, our viewers. It's so true. All of this comes out of our own pockets, so please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below what else you'd like to see here on Angry Zeppelin. Until next time, keep, keep flying! flying.